started the fire and how exactly it started, so there was no one to blame. Um, and unfortunately, at that night, a gale was blowing, oh, wow. and okay. it was blowing in the direction of the city. Otherwise, nothing would have happened. It was at the end, and near the water where it started. But the wind was so strong, it was fanning the fire, and it was bringing all the burning debris onto the next building and the next building. And the buildings were all built of wood, and they were all standing close to each other. And they were quite tall because it was a town, uh, a lot of three or four floors, a lot of people, a lot of families living in each town or in each house. And when the fire brigade arrived uh, at the spot, they couldn't do anything. It was impossible to stop the fire. Just imagine a winter night, gale blowing, the, the horses uh, carrying their fire pump, pump were scared. They would refuse to go near the fire. The flying sparks were burning holes in the hoses, so the water would have enough pressure. It was awful and the fire continued for 16 hours, destroying 850 houses, leaving 10,000 people without shelter. At that time the population in Olesu was 12,000. So you can imagine the scale of the fire. Almost the whole complete town was destroyed, burned to the ground, and not only the houses, but also all the storages with food, with coal, with all the production they were making here, the fish, uh, there were just uh, uh, foundations left, and the pipes, which were made of stone. Uh, there was one house, though, uh, that you probably have heard of, uh, that survived the fire, and it was... Uh, miraculous story because there was a man uh, who was a believer who lived in that house and um, he had a dream and he saw an angel who told him in a dream uh, that the fire is coming but he, that she, he shouldn't be worried because the Lord will protect him and when he woke up he saw the fire approaching his house and lots of people walking in his direction escaping from yeah. flames and he said, the Lord will protect me. And he refused to leave his house. So he stayed inside. You're going to be 13. So you're complete now. 13. Yes. We, are, we are complete. Just double uh, check your tickets. Well, I, I, why do I have to take the tickets? No, just double. You don't want to double count it? Did you because say two, two went out. 